He is known for pioneering indeterminacy in music and non-standard use of musical instruments. He is recognized for being one of the leading figures of the post-war avant-garde. His name is John Cage. In the realm of 20th century music, one name stands out as a true pioneer, John Cage, an American composer and music theorist. Known for his groundbreaking innovations and unconventional approach to music, Cage is widely regarded as one of the most influential composers of his time. He was a key figure in the post-war avant-garde movement and played a significant role in the development of modern dance. But what made Cage truly unique was his exploration of indeterminacy in music and his use of chance-controlled compositions. Cage's journey into the world of music was shaped by his studies with renowned teachers such as Henry Cowell and Arnold Schoenberg, both known for their radical approaches to composition. However, it was his exposure to East and South Asian cultures that had the most profound impact on his work. Through his study of Indian philosophy and Zen Buddhism, Cage was inspired to create aleatoric or chance-controlled music. He believed that music should be a purposeless play, an affirmation of life itself. One of Cage's most famous and controversial compositions is, 433, created in 1952. This piece is performed in complete silence, with the musicians doing nothing but being present on stage for the specified duration. The intention behind this composition is for the audience to experience the sounds of the environment during the performance, challenging traditional notions of musicianship and the definition of music itself. 433 became a topic of intense debate and discussion in the world of musicology and the broader aesthetics of art and performance. Cage was also a pioneer of the prepared piano, a technique where objects are placed on or between the strings of a piano to alter its sound. He wrote numerous dance-related works and a few concert pieces for the prepared piano, including his famous sonatas and interludes. These compositions pushed the boundaries of what was considered traditional music and opened up new possibilities for musical expression. John Cage's legacy as a composer and music theorist is defined by his willingness to challenge conventions and explore new frontiers. His use of chance-controlled compositions and his experiments with sound continue to inspire musicians and artists across the globe. Cage's profound impact on the field of music reminds us that true innovation often lies outside the boundaries of what is familiar and expected. John Cage, the innovative composer, revolutionized the world of music through his use of chance procedures, particularly his incorporation of the ancient Chinese divination system called the I Ching. After 1951, Cage composed all his music using chance operations, often employing the I Ching to determine various elements of his compositions. One notable example is his large piano work, Music of Changes, where material was selected using charts and the I Ching. The imperfections of paper provided pitches, while coin tosses and hexagram numbers determined accidentals, clefs, and playing techniques. This approach extended to other works, such as, Atlas Eclipticalis, Etudes Australis, and the challenging, number pieces. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag. Cage's use of chance procedures was not simply randomization but involved complex processes that varied from composition to composition. In Cheap Imitation, he borrowed the rhythmic structure of existing music and filled it with pitches determined through chance procedures. Similarly, in Etudes Australis, he used a star chart and the I Ching to select pitches and decide which ones would remain single or become parts of aggregates. These aggregates were chosen from a table of over 550 possible options. Cage's late works also featured instructions to performers instead of fully notated music, such as in Variations I, where transparent squares were combined using lines and points as coordinates for generating sounds. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag. Cage's exploration of chance extended beyond traditional music composition. He introduced the concept of Musa Circus, where performers were invited to assemble and play together. The first Musa Circus involved multiple performers and groups playing simultaneously, following specific time periods and instructions. This resulted in a cacophony of different musics superimposed on each other, creating a uniquely theatrical experience. Musa Circuses continue to be held even after Cage's death, with the English National Opera hosting a notable one in 2012, featuring a diverse range of performers. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag. The concept of the circus remained significant to Cage throughout his life and influenced works like, Roratorio. This piece, based on James Joyce's, Finnegan's Wake, combined text from the novel, traditional Irish music, and field recordings, creating a multi-layered sonic experience. Cage's fascination with the I Ching, chance procedures, and his anarchist beliefs shaped his musical philosophy, challenging conventional notions of composition and performance. His innovative approach continues to inspire musicians and artists to explore the possibilities of chance and indeterminacy in their work. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next?
Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.